Welcome to Reach the World ASAP. My name is Pastor Scott Griswold, and I am partnering with ASAP Ministries to bring you pictures and stories of what God is doing around the world to finish His work and to bring us home. Today I'm right here in Thailand, Ayutthaya, the ancient capital city. It's an island surrounded by waterways, and here there are thousands of ruins, temples, places where kings used to live. You just walk all the way through a city full of history. But for me, this city has a deeper history and a more important history, and that is the history of the gospel springing up in this city. I came here once a long time ago when we'd first come to Thailand, searching for a place to have the Buddhist study center, which is now known as the Center for East Asian Religions. As I came through the city, I had a strong impression, open your Bible. I was carrying it with me and I sat down under a tree with these monuments, these ancient places right before me, and I opened my Bible. As it opened, it opened directly to Corinthians, um, not Corinthians, but Acts chapter 18, where it speaks about the Corinthians. Paul said, actually he wrote these words that God spoke to him. The Lord spoke to Paul that night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak and do not keep silent, for I am with you. And no one will attack you to hurt you, for I have many people in this city. Now, after praying for a long time and searching for a place, I knew God was calling us to live and work in this city and the surrounding community. So we moved. Our family searched for a place. God led us miraculously to a spot just outside the city. And we began to pray that God would raise up a team to reach out and plant the gospel in the central valley of Thailand, where there were almost no Christians and very few Seventh-day Adventists. As we prayed, God brought us a very special family Ajahn Prakasit and Kun Mayo, good friends that, that we love very much. Over the next years, they, along with Pastor Anupong and Kun Mio and Mike and Marilee and others, came together to serve God in this place, doing health outreach from a, from a townhouse here in the city, being able to go door to door and make friends, finding ways just to, to be the first bit of Seventh-day Adventist light for Jesus in the city. And over time, a little group sprang up. I won't tell you all those stories now, you've heard some of them before, but this place began to have that light of truth of the soon coming of Jesus Christ, of his great love for people and how he gave eternal life through Jesus and the message for the last time to honor and worship the great creator God and judge of all the earth. Well, as time passed and we had to return to the United States, Prakasit and Mayo, they had to go on to study and then to different work. And our heart was often with the work, wondering how it was going. We would get to come and see them occasionally when we'd come out for work with ASAP, see what was happening, visit the church members. But our heart with deep desire was that the light would not go out. You see, in this place where everybody, just about everybody is a Buddhist, it is an extremely difficult and slow process to cross the line to become a follower of Jesus Christ. So it takes a lot of love, a lot of time, until they can understand and see the beauty, the benefit of being a follower of Jesus. But today, I am excited to share with you that we have a worker now supported by ASAP who has come to this area to lead the work after other pastors have gone on their way to different places. She has moved here and is eagerly sharing the gospel, making friends, connecting with the members, and seeking to pull them together to not let that light go out in this place of spiritual darkness. Her name is P. Tim, at least that's how we know her, and she is a person who I first met when there was no church in this area, and we would travel down towards Bangkok to meet up with a little church group there, a place where she had become a member. Now, she didn't grow up knowing God. In fact, she would go outside and by her little shrines and up in the sky, she would thank whoever was out there and pray to different beings, different gods, hoping to get some sort of help. Well, one day the neighbor across the street, who happened to be a Christian, who went to the Seventh-day Adventist church, said to her, Bitim, are you tired? Tired? Yes. Are you tired of praying to all these gods and doing all these deeds to try to make merit? Would you like to know the God who really loves you and has power for you? That neighbor didn't know too much how to explain, but when she said yes, he took her to the church. And there, in that little group, she came to know Jesus Christ as her personal Savior. At first it was confusing. They talk about the Creator this week, and then they talk about Jesus on the cross this week, and none of it made any sense. But at a camp in the north, 
it all finally came together and she surrendered her life to Jesus Christ. Who would have thought those years before when we would see this young, young, newly, newly born Christian in this little group down by Bangkok that later she would be back in the city we love so much, serving God and leading people to Christ here. I am so thrilled that we can support her from ASAP Ministries. Now, she doesn't have a specific sponsor yet. If you'd like to be that person, just go to asapministries.org and find the sponsorship section. And there you can help the light of God to go in forth in this country that though there's been years and years of mission work, is still waiting for that beautiful, solid breakthrough that will come through the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray that as we join with our prayers, as we give the best we can, and as we seek to share the gospel wherever we find the opportunity, together we will reach the world ASAP. Music